Great day, people. So it is a Koshua in a Koshua's kitchen. Hopefully you have been catching up on all of my YouTube videos where I've been doing different recipes um, and doing step-by-step -step, uh, directions or steps on how to make wonderful plant-based food. So today I'm in the kitchen and I decided to go live. Um, I'm making a veggie sandwich. Now, I have gotten so many questions about these sandwiches because over the, I think the last year, I've been posting different uh, sandwiches and everybody is like, oh my goodness. So I wanted to make sure I tagged some people, especially um, Apostle Norma Gray. I wanted to make sure I tagged you because I know you mentioned it on your show. Um, that I was a part of last week. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start to build this sandwich. Let me make sure we have a wonderful view. All right, so I'm starting with some toasted bread. Boom, it's nice and crusted. I like to do the toasted bread because, I don't know, it just gives it a better bite. Um, and if you are watching, go ahead and drop your name, say hello, say something, let me know where you're watching from so I'll know who I am talking to. So anyway, we're going to start with this bread. Now the bread that I'm using is called, ooh, we're about at the end of the bread. Oh, for this one, I'm going to use the Dave's Killer Bread, Seeded Bread Organic. Um, this pairs really good with sandwiches. When I'm kind of watching my carbs, I would do like a wrap the extreme wraps but for this sandwich we're doing the Dave's bread so anyway we're going to start with some mayonnaise vegan mayonnaise is in just about any um grocery store now I don't even know who wouldn't sell it I, I've seen it just about everywhere so mayonnaise let me get a little more of that mayonnaise you gotta have your mayonnaise like doesn't have to be the regular mayonnaise again you can buy vegan mayonnaise about all the time you can get it soy free too so boom got a lot of mayonnaise on there because I don't like a dry sandwich and then we're going to add some mustard now I know everybody not big mustard fans but I like mustard because it gives it that little kick all right so before we start adding the meat the type of meat that I use this plant powered meat is right here. It's called um, Worthington Plant Powered Deli Slices. Now, I typically buy the turkey, but I noticed that I went and picked up the ham this time. I've never bought the ham, but I have it. It's not pig, okay? It's plant based. So, that's the brand that I use. So, now what we're going to do is add our turkey. Now, what I do is. Um, these are the slices. I put them in the oven just a little bit because they come frozen. So we're gonna, let me see. You guys can see that. Um, I usually do about four pieces. This is for my husband, so I'm gonna put a little bit more on there because he's a man and you know, the man gotta eat good. That's at least that's what I believe. All right, so now that we have the turkey on there and before I move on to the next step, this is the, this is how the meat comes. Or the plant power meat okay it's frozen you can kind of just take a knife go in between the wedges and heat it now what I prefer to do is fry it and get a little bit burnt on it that's what I really like but I ain't got time for all that so I just stuck it in the oven real quick while my bread was toasted hey Apostle I get these tur this turkey from um, I usually get it from Sprouts Farmers Market but you know I just relocated haven't seen the Sprouts but it was in uh, Harris Teeter not in all Harris Teeters. It just depends on the area that you're in and if there's a big consumption of, you know, vegan, vegetarian food. So you may want to call before you go. I actually went to three different Harris Teeters before I found this. So anyway, this is what I buy. Um, so let's move on. Let's keep the sandwich going. Let me tell you, this sandwich is bomb. So now moving on to my cheeses. Um, of course, it's better to have a vegan cheese, and I'll show you the vegan cheeses we have. This one is already open. I'm going to use two different kinds because my husband like that. I have a provolone cheese, which is um, that is dairy-free, no dairy. And I also have, boom, pepper jack. If you want that little spice, and it's dairy-free, and it's good, and it melts. So we're going to add our cheese. I'm going to do one slice of provolone, and just for that little kick, 
I'm going to do one slice of pepper jack, and it looks just like pepper jack cheese. Don't sleep. Don't sleep, as they say. Don't sleep on the cheese. All right, so now that we have our cheese, this is where we're at so far. This baby got to sit high, okay? It's got to be a real sandwich. I ain't come to play. I got some mixed greens. Whatever time you, kind you like. I like um, everything. Any, if it's green, I like it. So spinach, um, just regular lettuce. Regular lettuce. Romaine is my favorite. All right, sitting kind of high. So now we're going to add our tomatoes. Nice. I'm going to put two nice pieces of fresh sliced tomatoes from the farmer's market. Boom. So we got that done. And then I'm going to add some onions. Let me hear. Let me tell you something. Listen. When I make a sandwich, there's two things it has to, has to have on it. You have to have pepper and you have to have onions. I know a lot of people don't like onions. I, I can't live without them. You know, onions just make everything. It just bring everything together. So I got a quite, quite a bit of onions. So we're going to say boom with those onions. Look, boom, boom. Got to say boom. Say boom. All right. Then we, I took some fresh avocado and I sliced them up. You got to have your avocado, your healthy fats. All right. So I sliced them up nice thin. Okay. It's getting a little, little high, getting a little high, but that's all right. That's all right. We're going to make this work. Boom. There's your avocado. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Tanya. All right. So now that we got our avocado, I realize, I just realized I missed a step, but I'm still going to put it on there because guess what? I'm going to put it on there. We can't have step with this sandwich, especially if you're not eating meat. So there we, that's what we got so far. Mm, 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 mm. Listen, y'all don't know what y'all missing. Listen, pickle. I got to have pickle too. I know I said I got to have um, the onion and the pepper, but I got to have pickle. I, ha I have to have pickle. Hey, Landy. So let's add our pickle. I'm going to do two slices. Boom, boom, right across the top. Hopefully it doesn't topple over. It's not going to topple over. I got some steady hands. Okay, so now we got our two pickles. And let me just wipe my hands off briefly. So now that we have our pickles, what I like to put on my sandwich is some pepper. Gotta have that little kick. I don't know. It seems like since I've stopped eating meat, I have to, um, I'm always looking for like a spice, maybe like a, mm, just a spice. I don't know. I guess it may have come from the grease with meat, but I'm looking for that, that extra flavor that you usually need when you're plant-based. I have some natural sea salt. I have to dab it with that. Just a little bit. Come out. Oh, there it is. And then I also put on my sandwiches garlic. A little bit of garlic powder. Because I just like it like that. Okay? Alright. Now, if you really want to get fancy, because I'm just set up that way. And if I'm going to eat a sandwich, I'm going to eat that sandwich, right? Yes, Apostle, it is massive. But this is for the hubby. And so I'm sure he's going to enjoy it. But you know what? Mine's look the same way. Right, let me stop running. Mine's is high too. Oh, let me say this before I complete the sandwich. I have not eaten since yesterday at about 5 o'clock, so I'm about to break a fast. I don't even know how many hours that, that there is, but it's well over 16, so it's okay to have a nice gigantic sandwich. So, this is how I get fancy. I know I have fresh avocado on here, but I go and get the um, avocados and these little, these like the 100 calorie avocados, and I get them spicy because, again, I like a little kick. Now, I don't like it too hot to the point where it's going to take away from your food. I don't like that, but just a little kick. So, I just go on the other side of the bread, about like that, pick it up, and I just mix it in with all the rest of the stuff. Boom. 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 Nice slather. Mmm. Just like that. See that? All right. Now, I believe the sandwich is complete. So, we're going to take the top and we're going to fold it over. Oh, my word. Look at that. All the majority of his vegetable, plant power. Guilt free. The bread is organic. If you want to go with more of a keto bread, you can. If you're kind of really, really watching those cards. But overall, it's good. The only thing that I'm missing from the sandwich, sandwich that I typically put on the sandwich is um, black olives. I usually do that, but I went to the grocery store and got a little carried away and didn't get everything I said I was going to go in there and get. But whatever. Okay. Now. All right. So, we're going to cut the sandwich because... 
it just looks better cut make it nice and pretty you know when i serve my husband i make sure it's nice and pretty <gasps> Ooh. look i need one of those q-tips like they do okay we got to keep this together okay oh y'all the avocado or the guac is coming out the side the guacamole that i just put it on all right i'm gonna show you the inside of the sandwich once i'm sure it's cut then i'm gonna let y'all get back to this beautiful saturday all right, so look, 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 look at us. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Oh, I should take a picture just like this. Ah, <laughs> that is a plant powered vegetarian. And I want to say that I don't think it's completely vegan because it may be some um, ingredients in there that's not in the meat. I need to check that. And it just may be completely vegan. But anyway, for the sake of the video, vegetarian, okay, sandwich. So don't you tell me that just because you decide to eat plant-based, vegetarian, that you still cannot enjoy a sandwich. So wait a minute, I'm not finished. I got a surprise for you. So we're going to open it up like that, like we in the diner somewhere. We in the kosher was diner, y'all, okay? So we're going to do it just like that. And if you hadn't heard about these... These are plantain chips. Plantain chips, the Goya brand. You can get whatever brand you want. We're going to put some of these on the side because my husband likes them. A little bit of saltiness. Just a little bit. Boom. And there it is. Plant powered sandwich. So, yeah. That's how I do it. Sandwiches all day today. Thank you guys. For I love all of you. Um, be sure that you are following me um, on T-Fit Queens. If you go through my thread, you will see um, where I'm always tagging that page. It's a women's empowerment support group where we just pretty much um, help people to define what wellness looks like in their life. Okay, Everybody have their definition of wellness based on whatever it is that you have going on in your life, right? Everybody have their definition of wellness, but... I kind of help guide you through that, okay? And just kind of introduce you to different things to help you sculpt the way you want to look and be and show up in your life, okay? Also, I have a YouTube channel. Yep, whoop, 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 YouTube. Make sure you are following me on YouTube at Akoshua Maroa, M-O-R-O-W-A. And if you don't do Facebook or YouTube, you can head on over to IG. I'm on there as well at Akoshua underscore Maroa. All right, so check this out. If you decide to go check out this plant-powered meat, drop a comment and let me know what you think about it. Eat something green, take care of yourself, continue to fill your cup, and no matter where you go, show up and be the light because guess what? Someone is waiting on you. Peace.